Okay, let's get ready for more because let's continue to dig deep on OFW family financial problems and how should an OFW plan financially. So our first speaker, yan, our first speaker for these uh, formal sessions naman na po, yung but technically second speaker natin siya, is a driven business transformation leader of one of the largest mutual fund distributors in the Philippines, Rapver Financials. He has over five years of digital marketing experience in the telco industry and has co-founded and launched the game-changing brand in the Philippines' first fully digital telco, Gomo. Concurrently, he is an aspiring financial advisor innovator with over 10 years of investment experience in the capital markets and over five years of experience in mutual funds distribution. To talk about financial planning for OFWs, ladies and gentlemen, yan, we welcome po Ned and Mr. Enro Mendoza! Hi everyone, good afternoon. Well, at least from the Philippines, no good afternoon. I'm not sure where you guys are calling from, no? Uh, if umaga jan or gabi. Uh, I heard we have audiences from all around the world, from Singapore, no, Taiwan, Belgium, lahat yan. May mention ni Brother Bo kanina. So wherever you are, no, mabuhay kayo. I know you might be wondering, no, sino ba tong si Enro Mendoza? Di ba? Parang I haven't heard of him before. Actually, kausap ko ngayon mga organizers kanina eh. Actually, hinahanap daw nila yung pinaka-nakakatawang financial advisor. Hindi ako yun. <laughs> Hindi daw siya free. Hindi daw siya available. Ako daw yung magaling manamit. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, hitting aside, hitting aside, sharing the stage with Brother Bo Sanchez and of course, Sir Edward Lee later on, which you will hear from him, is such an amazing uh, opportunity. Uh, I'm so blessed and grateful to have this opportunity and I hope um, I will give value to your afternoon. So I have one goal and one goal for this talk and it's for you to remember me. Kailangan mo alalin niyo si Enro Mendoza. I promise to give you so much value because I really want to help you. Okay, I've done talks in the past but nothing like this, nothing on a global stage. So I really want to be able to give you practical tips you know, wealth management guides and financial planning for your journey. So friends, let's start with a quick activity. Me kasi, um, in the morning, I like to do prayer and meditation. Now, meditation kasi is very important in my daily routine kasi it allows me to clear my mind, put it in a right perspective, so that I can live my day right. I can live it well. Okay, so wherever you are, you can do this in your own personal space as long as hindi kayo nagda-drive, no? So let's close our eyes and take three deep breaths. Think about what you're grateful for today. Think about waking up in the morning. Many weren't able to. Think about the position you're in, you know, the opportunity that you have. Others weren't accepted. Others aren't in the same position as you. Think about the smaller things. Think about the food that you ate this morning. Think about the internet and the laptop that you're watching this seminar from. Think about who you do this for. your family back at home, their faces, their smiles, their laughter. They miss you. They love you. Think about what else you're grateful for today. Okay, now take last three deep breaths. Okay, now open your eyes. How does it feel? Feels good, right? Amen. That's how it feels like 
to be coming from a place of abundance rather than a place of lack. And this is the Abundance Conference. I want you to hold on to that feeling. It's because everything you need is already within you. Life has its problems. Life has its challenges. We all have our obstacles. We all have our challenges. Life gets tough. Diba? Minsan nabo burn out tayo. Minsan nainis tayo sa traffic or anything that goes on in our day. But if we start our day with gratitude and having that attitude of gratitude, we will be coming from a place of abundance versus lack. Diba? If we're talking about financially, if we're chasing money, if we're thinking that we're chasing money, it means we do not have money. It means nagukulang tayo. But if we shift that perspective, diba? if we tell ourselves, I am in this opportunity, I am in a position to be able to help myself, help my family, future generations, I have all of the capabilities and the talents to make this happen. I have it within me. That is coming from a place of abundance, and that is the core of our Abundance Conference this afternoon. Duh? Because I believe that thoughts are electricity. Thoughts are powerful. Throughout my talk, I will always talk about mindset because I'm big on mindset. Your thoughts, you know, your mind, your thoughts become your words, right? Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Habits become your values, and values determine how you live your life. So again, everything you need is already within you. Kahit ano man ang inahanap mo, nasa yo na ang lahat. Oh, de ba? Okay. <laughs> okay. So going on to the presentation, I just wanted to ask, no? I wanted to pose this question: Did you grow the last three years? Grabe yung pandemic three years na palano, 2023. If you go back three years, 2020. Yung akala nating pandemic na three weeks lang. Ayun, naging two years. Pero ngayon, gratefully, we are post-pandemic already. We're traveling, we're doing uh, all of our things outside with our families. But let's ask ourselves, no, did we actually grow? Not just financially, but also, let's say, uh, physically. Hindi ko naman sinabing lumaki kayo, no, physically. Pero in terms of your mindset, in terms of your mental capabilities, your career, spiritually as well, very, very important. Did you grow? And I like to uh, congratulate everyone here because you know being in this conference is already a sign of growth. You want to grow further. Something changed in you. Something pushed you to be able to join this conference. And as Brother Bo mentioned earlier, we want you to join TRC because that is the game-changing value that it gives. You will be part of a like-minded community talk about your goals, talk about what you need to do to be able to achieve those goals and your dreams for your family. And this will be the start of that. And hopefully, my talk will convince you to join the TRC community. Now, going back to growth, I wanted to talk about growth financially. You know? So first, of course, as a proper financial advisor, I'd want to show you some uh, interesting insights and data. Look at this. This is remittances. Looking at our growth overall, kahit na may slight decline ng 2020, we are at an upward trend. Actually, last year, 2022, we actually hit an all-time high. I think this is at 32 billion pesos. So with a B po yan, ah, 32 billion pesos. And if we go look at the growth naman of the uh, overseas Filipinos, no, the absolute number, we also see a, a slight growth. Uh, as of the latest data, no, we have almost 1.9 million overseas Filipinos. Pero wait lang, going back, kita natin na pataas yung remittances growth. Pero looking at the number of overseas Filipinos, pre-pandemic, this is over 2 million. Eh. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun, lumalaki yung kita natin. Diba? If we look at the absolute numbers, lumalaki yung kita natin. And we're able to get our careers growing, get our financial, uh, financials growing. But ano ang nangyayari? That's why we're here in this conference. I want to be able to give value, teach you some wealth management tips, some tips on financial planning, so that we can grow more, at least on the financial space. Okay, so we go back to the most fundamental 
uh, concept, no? goals. We always go back to goals. It's always the number one basic, uh, basic that we need to go back to. No? Hashtag goals. The way usually, ano tayo, uh, lalo na in our generation, we always tend to compare, right? Uh, we look at social media, our friends, our other families. We always uh, look at their lives. And sometimes kasi, people tend to share only the amazing things or the beautiful things. But let us look deep within ourselves. What are our goals? What are our personal goals? Is it going back to the Philippines, having a well-integrated life back home? Is it providing for my family? Is it bringing my children to um, really good schools? Is it having my own business, a farm? So we should always think about that and always remind ourselves what our goals are because sometimes that is the uh, problem also or the source of the problem na we don't remember it, we don't write it down. Sometimes coming as office, we even have dream boards. No? We set our dreams, put it in pictures, visualize it, print it out so that every day on our desks, we see what our goals are. Right? So that's one thing that you can do also for yourself. Now, typically, what are the goals of an OFW? Usually, it's these three. No? Number one is to provide for their family back at home. Number two, it's to accumulate wealth, to be able to retire. Very important. Siyempre, this is uh, a set date. No? Kailangan, when you go out to, let's say, Singapore, Saudi, Dubai, there should be a firm date that you should go back. right? Because if you don't have that firm date, then you'll just keep on working. You will keep working for the rest of your life. And as Brother Bo mentioned earlier, no, you should set parameters, limitations, be able to have those rules uh, for yourself, but also for your family because this should be a team effort. No, hindi lang pwedeng ikaw lang yung nagtatrabaho, tapos magastos na yung family mo back at home. We need to be able to teach them as well, uh, make them involved. Because um, having them involved means you can achieve your goals together. Dapat hindi lang ikaw yung nagtatrabaho, hindi lang ikaw yung kumakayo. Dapat sila rin. We should all have this mindset as well. And then lastly, to be well integrated when they come back to the Philippines. Of course, it's not just about retiring, but when you're living here in the Philippines already, when you're retired, what will you be doing? Diba? Mag-aalaga ka ba ng mga apo mo? For example, will you build a school? Have a business? Diba? Restaurant? What will you be doing? You need to be able to visualize this, write this down, and really remember this. Communicate it with your family as well. Para together you can achieve them. Or at least start planning to achieve them. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm really big on mindset. And goals might be the fundamental thing. But personally, it's not for me the most important. Because for me, goals is just the destination, diba? Right? Goal is the North Star. Goal is where you want to go. It sets the direction. But, siyempre, you need to have action. You need to act on your goals. You need to be able to move forward, to be closer to your goals. It's all up to you. Goals, setting goals, visualizing them. It's good. It sets the direction. But it's really up to you if you want to move closer to it and to achieve it. And I mentioned earlier, I'm really big on mindset because for me, the mindset is really the fuel. Your mind tells you, you can. If I use an analogy of a car here, your goal is the destination. Kunyari, it's Araneta, Araneta Center, for example. Your actions is actually you driving the car, pushing on the gas pedal, navigating. It's all up to you if you want to get to your destination. But lastly, your mind, that's your fuel. Diba? You need to be able to have fuel, have action to be able to get to your destination. Right? You need to be able to feed yourself, fuel yourself so that you can keep going. In this part, you have goals and you have actions. You need to have the right mindset as well. And as I mentioned, this is the Abundance Conference. We're all about having the abundance mindset. I like reading, and this is one of my favorite books. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Maybe if you can pick it up or read the audiobook, listen to the audiobook, I mean. Uh, there are even summaries on YouTube. Very, very powerful. This actually changed my life. And he put it very bluntly, no? 
you don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. Goals aren't enough. Sabi niya, when you go to the Olympics, lahat naman ng Olympians may one goal lang yan eh, na manalo, to get the gold medal, di ba? But what separates the winners from those who don't win the gold medal? It's the systems, it's the practice, it's the rigor, it's the training. Think about winners. Think about, say, Michael Phelps, di ba? One of the most decorated Olympians in history. 2008 Beijing Olympics, he won eight gold medals. Imagine eight in one Olympics. Tayo, one pa lang. I mean, kumakaya tayo, we want to get more. But siya, in one Olympics, eight. What did he say in the recent interview that he had? He said, for five years, he was training every day. Five years, 365 days in a year. Every day, even if he didn't feel like it, even if he didn't feel in the mood, even if he was sick, even if it was Christmas, New Year, every day for five years to win those eight medals. So what are we doing to be able to reach our goals? Goals are important, they set the direction, but it's really up to us. What are our systems? What is our action plan? And hopefully, I get to help you guys create an action plan this afternoon. Okay, so let's go on to common mistakes of OFWs. Earlier, I, uh, oh, sorry. Earlier, I mentioned some of them already, but let's go through them. Let's talk about each of them. Number one, no set goals or plans or forget. Baka bago kayo lumipad, alam nyo na yung goals nyo. Okay, by this age, dapat bumalik na ako. Dapat, this is my target net worth, di ba? Pero pagdating nyo, nakalimutan nyo na. Or maybe because of the day-to-day, -day, all of the rigor, all of the work, medyo may blinders na tayo, nakalimutan natin yung goals natin. We should be able to create systems to be able to remember those goals and also reassess those goals, di ba? On an annual basis, quarterly basis, or even monthly basis. Next, lifestyles get ahead of income. Ang tawag dito ay income, ay sorry, ang tawag dito ay lifestyle inflation, di ba? Baka yung sa inyo, na-promote kayo, or tumaas yung inyong income, parang the mindset sometimes is, dapat tumaas rin yung lifestyle ko, di ba? Dati, happy na kayo sa jolly spaghetti. Ngayon, kailangan fettuccine alfredo. Di ba? Dati, okay na kayo sa kopi ko or Nescafe. Ngayon, dapat caramel macchiato with extra espresso shot with a touch of brevet. Oh, di ba? So, we should be able to be conscious no, um, about what we put our money into. Um, it's not necessarily saying that we shouldn't enjoy the process. We should still enjoy. No? Siyempre, may luho pa rin dyan. Pero, kailangan conscious lang tayo. Dapat, sinasabi nga ni uh, Boss Rex, no, my dad, he says, dapat pagdating sa luho, kurot lang, hindi dakot. Diba? Next, reliance on debt for emergencies. This is what Brother Bo was talking about earlier. No? Dapat we need to be able to set aside an emergency fund, maybe around three to six months of your income, so that if anything happens, any med medical emergency, any accident, or anything that happens to your life, or even your life, uh, or your family's life back at home, you will be able to... Uh, give to, to those emergencies without the need for debt. Hindi, ka, hindi na kailangan humiram. Next is inadequate preparation for retirement. Again, goals aren't enough. We need to create an action plan and to be able to keep track of this action plan until we achieve our goals. Next is low level of financial literacy. Very, very um, important as well. And again, I congratulate you for being part of this conference because, you know, it's also already a major step that you're part of this. And you're part of this community, diba? Right? You guys are uh, chatting. You guys are among like-minded people. And it really is a lot already that you are here. And you're uh, making strides to be able to up and grow your financial literacy. And then lastly, no team effort or community. As I mentioned earlier, there should be a team effort. Dapat hindi lang ikaw. Dapat your family also back at home, communicate with them, talk about your goals so that you can all achieve them together. Okay? So going back, what was the number one goal of our OFWs? And this is something that I want to help you plan for. Diba? A well-prepared homecoming. So this is number one. Siyempre, as I mentioned, very important that we have a set date already, a committed date to go back. 
hindi sapat na we just fly out and we give to our family every month. Kailangan set yung date natin. Let's plan for that date so that you will be able to come back, retire, and have a well-integrated life here in the Philippines. Okay? So tip number one, visualize your return in detail. You need to be very specific. You need to close your eyes and picture it talaga. Where will you live? Diba? Which part of the Philippines? Is it the province? Is it the city? With your family? Is it a compound? Is it a condo? Try to picture it as specific as possible. What will you be doing? Diba? Will you set up a business? Will you um, stay at home and take care of the apos? Will you teach? Diba? We have a lot of Filipinos that when they come back, they build schools, they teach. Sometimes they do that as well. Like this, business, work, and hobbies to pursue. Diba? What are your interests? What do you want to do? Try to close your eyes and picture yourself. Lastly, what are your must-haves and nice-to-haves? Right? So that's number one. Visualize your return in detail. Number two, clearly establish your goals. Diba? We go back to goals again, but let's try to be very specific here. Now, how much income do you need? Diba? How much income do you need? How much do you have set aside? And later on, we can be as specific as possible when we go to an exercise. Number three, will you retire? work or launch a business you need to be able to do this as well and communicate this with your family will this earn enough income to meet your needs you working here or setting up a business or if not how will you augment it right that's very very important so after visualizing and clearly establishing your goals you need to remember this tip number three ensure income replacement and not net worth those are two very, very different concepts, very, very different things. Uh, the common misconception is, if I have my net worth, okay na ako mag-retire. If I set a number, let's say 5 million, and then I go back home, okay na ako mag-retire. I will just deplete this, and I can use this every day. Pero your fund gets depleted, and what if there comes to a point na may mga emergencies, may mga gastos na unexpected, and you deplete the fund completely? Na ubus ka, na wala ka. What will you do? Will you go back? De ba ayon naman natin nun. We need to be able to have income replacement instead. Where will we put our assets, our income, into a vehicle that will be able to give us the income that we need so that we can sustain our lifestyle back here in the Philippines, de ba? Maximize man and money at work. Sabi do kasi na there are three financial stages of man, right? Man at work. Man and money at work, and then money at work. Yung man at work, ito yung trading your time for money. Ito yung you have a job, you earn through commissions. Pero we need to be able to graduate it to man and money at work, and then money at work when we retire. The goal is to have money working for us at the end of our lives. We want to be able to enjoy our golden years. Diba? Sabi nga nila, diba? money is the best employee. It doesn't sleep, it doesn't complain, it works 24-7, right? So in our golden years, we want money working for us. And we will work not because we need to, but because we want to, diba? So this is where wealth accumulation happens uh, into money at work, diba? We want to be able to maximize the middle stage, see man and money at work. So while we have the energy, while we have the time, the attention, we want to grow our assets so that eventually, let's graduate into money at work. Okay? And then tip number four, ito, very basic, but then sometimes nakalimutan natin. This is what I was talking about earlier about developing our goals. So let's develop smart goals, diba? We learned this in high school or in college. Smart means specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. We need to be able to set specific goals, be able to picture it so that we can create an action plan to achieve it. Diba? We need to aid the direction with a very precise action plan. Diba? When we have tools like Waze and Google Maps, hindi lang sapat na meron ka ng destination. Eh. Maganda rin pag may roads na. Alam natin kung saan yung traffic, alam natin kung saan yung off-road. And this is what I'm talking about, developing smart goals. If you have smart goals, it becomes easier to execute your action plan. Kasi you will not need to navigate. 
when you set it already by the start of your journey, all you need to do is follow it. Okay? So, I was talking about earlier an exercise. Okay, mag-exercise tayo. Grab a piece of paper or a pen. Let's try to develop a smart goal. I'll make one of my own, but then maybe in your time, you can also try to make one for yourself. Diba? Let's aid our goals by creating smart goals. This is mine. For example, for an OFW, I will return home at age 55. Very specific. There's a specific age. Age 55. With 12 million in an independent investment portfolio. 12 million pesos in an independent investment portfolio. Why 12 million? Because that 12 million should be able to securely yield 50,000 monthly in perpetuity. If you put kasi your, um, if your vehicle is a conservative bond, for example, that yields 5% annually, that is equivalent to around 50,000 per month. So based on my lifestyle, let's say 50,000 is actually enough for me. So I will need that 12 million so that uh, based on my lifestyle, I will have 50,000 in perpetuity. Pero hindi doon nagtatapos. I shall put up a small retail business. Pagbalik ko sa Pilipinas, gusto ko medyo, hindi naman ako nasa bahay lang, kain, tulog, Netflix, di ba? Gusto ko magnegosyo pa rin because this is my interest. I like to help people. I like to make uh, profits as well. I will put up a small retail business that will earn an additional income of 25,000 monthly on average. So itatrabaho ko na our uh, business will be able to generate that 25,000 monthly uh, to complement my 50,000 a month. So that is an example of a smart goal. So hopefully in your papers, you guys can start writing down as well or later on throughout the day, no, you guys can complete this exercise and really latch on to the goal that you have, right? Again, goal set the direction, actions pull you closer, and then your mind tells you you can. So that is all about goals. Now, what is the action plan? So kami here at Ramver Financials, we take pride in giving this action plan. We call it simple steps to financial success. These are five simple steps lang, but hopefully this will give you value and this will give you a blueprint to be able to achieve your financial goals. Okay, number one, expand your earning potential. I know you have an opportunity now. You are in a position to be able to earn maybe enough, but you can expand pa. You should have an understanding of active income versus passive income, right? So active income is like earned income. You're trading your time for money. You're working for a job, working for a company, or you're earning commissions. Passive income naman is you put your assets into vehicles that will generate income for you. So having this understanding of two types of income will really help maximize yung ating man and money at work na financial stage. And of course, you guys are very familiar with the seven streams of income. Sabi nga nila on average, diba, the millionaire has seven streams of income. Let's try to cover each of them. We have earned income, which is like I mentioned earlier, you and your job, let's say commissions. Profit income is maybe you have a business that generates profit for you. Next is interest income. Let's say these are your, uh, if you put your money into bonds that earn interest or maybe time deposits as well. Dividend income, maybe you buy stocks that are able to give you, provide you dividends regularly. Like our blue chip companies like our Globe, our Ayala, our REITs right now, diba? they give dividend income. Rental income as well from properties or real estate. So when you buy a condominium, for example, or house and lot, you will generate rental income um, monthly. Next is capital gains. So let's say you bought an asset, bought it at a certain price, be able to sell it at a higher price, that's called capital gains. And then lastly, royalty income. Let's say you're a creative, mahilig ka sa songs, you like to produce music, diba? may kakilala nga kami na um, they actually produce the music for Enchanted Kingdom, for EK. So every time na pinlay ni EK yung song nila, mag-generate yun ng income for them. And that's forever. That's royalty income. Okay, so that's step number one. Expand your earning potential. What's step number two? 
Step number two is maintain a lifestyle lower than your income, di ba? Earlier, I was talking about lifestyle inflation. Again, we need to be able to uh, tell ourselves, be conscious where we put our money. Di ba, kanina may example ako on food, on coffee. Ngayon naman, let's say technology, di ba? Dati, masaya ka na sa Cherry Mobile. Ngayon, kailangan mo na ng iPhone 15 Pro Max Ultra 4 terabyte fully paid. O, di ba? <laughs> or, before, masaya ka na sa the Bluetooth device is ready for pairing. Ngayon, kailangan mo na ng, Hi, my name is Alexa. Let me play 3D audio for you today. Oh. Umamin dyan yung may Alexa na na-prom kong gumising. Okay, but I have a tip for you. It's not just being conscious, but try to have this perspective. Instead of paying the luxury brands, instead of paying the really big companies, why don't you pay yourself first? Pay your future self. Invest in assets that will generate income for you down the road. Diba? So, magandang concept yun, ha? that instead of paying the billionaires of the world, diba? the Forbes 100, paying the big companies that produce these luxury goods, these electronics, and whatnot, let's pay ourselves first. Our future selves will thank us. Right? So, pag nabayaran mo na yung sarili mo, ganito ka na. Paralyzed ka na. <laughs> Paralyzed ka na. Hindi ka na makagalaw kasi wala ka ng pera. Kasi you already paid yourself into the future. O, ba? Big brain, big brain. O, isa pang big brain. Yung mga friends ko kasi, yung iba, vegetarian, you know, pescetarian. Ako, ganito ako eh. Budgetarian. ba? It depends on the budget. Diba? So I set a fixed budget for myself so that I don't get to spend. Diba? Me and my girlfriend, when we go out, sinasabi natin sa sarili namin na, you know, I, let's, let's only buy a certain dish or may maximum tayo na two meals. Diba? Because again, going back, it's a team effort. Dapat you're not doing this alone. Dapat you talk to your uh, family, you talk to your partner about this. Minsan sa si Instagram Reels, no? nakikita ko to, may AI voice deep. Sinasabi niya, you're getting distracted again. You have dreams to chase, not people to impress. Wake up. Right? Before, I'm guilty of this, diba? When I got a bit of money, I would buy luxury goods, I would buy designer goods. But I wasn't really impressing myself. I was trying to impress people around me. But when I remembered my goals, when I remembered what I'm doing this for, it kind of stopped me. It kind of gave me a different perspective. So again, my tip for this is pay yourself first. Diba? Your future self will thank you. Also, this is what I do. Very practical, but sometimes boring. Ito hindi to sponsored, but I use this app. It's an expense app. This is very essential so that you can learn where your money goes. Diba? Where are you getting your money? Where are your income? Is it your salary? Is it commissions? Your business, diba? Spendy is available on iOS and Android. Every time you get your money, get your income, and spend your money, try to note it down. Is it going to food and drinks? Is it going to travel? Is it going to <clears throat> technology? Is it going to gifts for other people? And then by the end of the month, magugulat kayo. Wow, ito na pala yung spending ko. Now I need to readjust, diba? I need to try to assess myself, maybe set a budget every month. Okay? That is step number two. Next, step number three, very, very important. Accumulate and grow what you can keep. But again, this is man and money at work. You need to be able to grow. Kasi na-maintain mo na yung lifestyle mo, tumaas yung income mo, saan mo pupunta yung extra money na yun? It should go to your future. Right? This is the sometimes what happens to the common Filipino. No? We have all of our goals. We have our long-term goals, medium-term goals, short-term goals. Pero, saan napupunta yung money? We put it in short-term instruments. It's in the bank. Sometimes nga, cash pa yan eh. Nasa unan, di ba? Or nasa wallet. It's, there's a mismatch. Plus, hindi lang yun. Hindi pa sila protected. And that's why going to what we discussed earlier, minsan umuutang pa. Minsan we need to borrow from our friends, borrow from different institutions 
just to be able to address those emergencies. So what do we need to be able to do to accumulate and grow that money? Let's try to match it. Diba? Let's look at our goals. Look at our long-term goals, yung ating retirement, let's say children's education when they're young pa. Dream home, is that long-term or medium-term? But that can be medium-term. Maybe gusto mo rin ng, uh, let's say, medium-term goal na home before your dream home. That can be a medium-term goal. Or short-term, your next travel. Diba? Your next travel with your family. So you need to be able to match this with the right investments, the right vehicles to be able to achieve your goals. Long-term instruments, long-term goals. Medium-term instruments, medium-term goals. Short-term instruments, short-term goals. And the clincher is, dapat all of this, protected ka. Because every day, we are exposed to risk. Risk of accidents, risk of sakit, diba? illnesses, makonfine tayo, emergency. We need to be protected. Okay? So here in our firm in Ramver Financials, where we are, we take pride in being the only one-stop shop uh, in the whole Philippines. We provide investments, insurance, healthcare, life, non-life insurance. And we actually launched an online platform most recently and actually very sacto for this uh, conference because you guys are OFWs. Before kasi, very traditional yung financial services industry. When we partner with our mutual funds before, you need to send via email the application forms, print out the application forms, no? sign them by hand. Tapos kailangan may wet signature pa. Tapos ang nangyayari, kadalasan, pag may umuwi lang, dun lang nadadala lahat ng application form to be able to open an account. And most recently, um, and I take pride with the, with the whole team for uh, achieving this, we were able to launch an online investment platform. It's called Rampver Online. And we have an exclusive QR code for TRC, which is flashed on the screen right now. Rampver Online is number one, fully digital. It's a fully digital experience. It's like your normal digital banking app, diba? When you create an account, it's all digital. There is a client application, a KYC, wherein you put in all of your details, proof of address, TIN, etc. And it will only take around 5 to 10 minutes. Imagine before you had to print out, really write down all of your requirements, Xerox your valid IDs to be able to submit your forms. Now it's just 5 to 10 minutes. Industry-leading partners. Later on, we will show the companies that we are involved with. And lastly, certified advisory because Ramber is, of course, regulated by the SEC, AMLC, and uh, IC. Our industry-leading partners so far, since we launched last year, we have ATRAM, or ATR Asset Management. We have Phil Equity Fund, and we also have Sun Life. But look at this, coming soon. Sinasabi ni Brother Bo kanina, Call is actually a brokerage. But for us, they actually launched a mutual fund as well. I think they have a few mutual funds that we are talking to the team right now. And soon, very, very soon, in the next few months, we will be able to launch Call Financial Funds as well, in line with BPI, LMFM, and FAMI. It's very quick. As I mentioned, it's as easy as three steps, creating an account, completing the client application, five to 10 minutes, and then you can start investing in a recommended fund. Of course, because of certified advisory, we should know your risk appetite. Are you aggressive? Are you conservative? We should know your goals and also your time horizon. And based on those, we will recommend the right funds for you. So if you have any questions, email us at trcinquiries at ramver.com. Again, flashing the QR code here as well. So that's step number three, accumulate and grow what you can keep. So this is just a start investments, but of course, with the action plan that I mentioned earlier, you can reach out to us at trcinquiries at ramver.com. We actually even launched uh, uh, insurance that is specific to overseas Filipinos. So you can email us if you are interested in that product as well. Next, step four is do it with purpose. I know all of us, we have our own struggles, we have our challenges, but when your why is big enough, actually, yung mga struggles na yan, parang katiting na lang yan eh. Diba? They're, they're not significant because our why is bigger. Right? Before, when I shifted this mindset, before, 
medyo na burn out ako. Ngayon, when I know my why, I know my purpose, I know why I'm living on this world, hindi na ako na burn out. I mean, it's hard. Sometimes there are struggles. But when your why is big enough, you will keep going. Again, I'm very big on the mindset. If you guys notice, it's very important for me. So fuel it and be able to feed it the right way. My dad, Rex Mendoza, said this in his book no? about purpose. When you set up yourself for success, you have to look deep within for what truly matters to you. Only you will know what your purpose is. Only you will know what your meaning is. So really try to reflect, you know, try to go out of the city, uh, do your thing, whether you're creative, let's say you're painting, or you just want to meditate on your own. Try to do this on a long weekend or on a weekend to be able to dig deep to really know what your why is. Because yun nga, life is tough, but when your why is big enough, you will keep going. All personally, a tip for having a big why, it's not only living for yourself. Eh. You need to live a life beyond yourself. Diba? It's much bigger if your why is your family. Hindi lang sarili mo. Kasi kung sarili mo lang, talagang maburn out ka kasi, ah, pagod ako. Ah, kaya ko naman to bukas or next week. Pwede naman ako maghanap ng ibang trabaho. Pero if you're thinking of your family, you're thinking of your children, you're thinking of the influence and the impact that you can make in this world, it's much bigger and it's much easier to be able to live our life. For me, a successful life is a fruitful life. I really like this analogy. I think we got this from the Bible and I heard it from a speaker as well before. Maganda yung concept of fruits eh. Kasi yun nga sa plant, in terms of farming or growing plants, fruits kasi are the excess. Diba? The fruit is actually not for the plant itself. But when you're overflowing with abundance, when you're overflowing with blessings, you create fruits for other living beings. You create fruits for the animals to eat. You create fruits for people. And that's the concept of fruits in our lives, right? For me, a successful life is a fruitful life. Again, it's living beyond yourself. Having that abundance mindset means you're overflowing with blessings. We started today with an activity on meditation and gratitude and try to remember that try to remember everything that you can be grateful for even to the smallest things right the internet the laptop you're watching this from because having that mindset means you are blessed to bless others i really like that line eh, from brother bo's abundance prayer and because i am blessed i am blessing the world in jesus name right Having that mindset means you're overflowing and you can contribute to the world, make an impact. It doesn't stop with you. And then lastly, of course, once you have that big why, your purpose, enjoy the process naman. It's not saying that, you know, you should struggle, kayod lang talaga every day. Enjoy it as well. I'm sure may mga luho rin kayo. I'm sure you like, you have your interests, like your travel. Ako personally, I like food talaga. I like electronics as well. So this is everything I'm living for. Sabi ko nga naman kanina, no? I like clothes. So ito yung isa hong luho, di ba? I made this suit specific for this talk. This is my first time wearing this suit. Di ba? And I also like electronics. I like the concept of technology and pushing innovation forward. I like spending time with the people who matter to me. My family, my girlfriend, our team at Ramver Financials, and the friends that I built over the years. Know what makes you happy. Know what will keep you going. Know what will fuel you to be able to reach and achieve your goals and dreams. So to summarize those five simple steps to financial success, number one, expand your earning potential. Number two, maintain a lifestyle lower than your income. Number three, accumulate and grow what you can keep Again, if you need help here in terms of investments or insurance, feel free to reach out to us. Number four, do it with purpose. Your why needs to be big enough. And then lastly, enjoy the process. Friends, I end here today with this quote that I treasure very dearly. I started this when I was a year into my corporate job. Yun nga, medyo mahirap. I was in a low point. I was trying to chase something that I didn't have. 
No, I was in a family of overachievers. Alam niyo naman si Boss Rex Mendoza, my mom, my sisters. They're all really good at school. Ako, hindi masyado. So when I really found my interest, which is in digital, which is in marketing, I really tried to reach out for that success. But even as I reached out for it, it felt like it was out of reach until I changed my perspective. I changed my perspective to have that abundance mindset. That it's not success that I'm chasing, but actually if I keep doing what I'm doing and every day I try to be the best at what I do, to be the best version of myself, to achieve that goal and to live a life beyond myself, then I'm successful. And I end with this, success is the journey, not a destination. Hashtag success in progress. Thank you very much, everyone. You can reach out to me at enro.bio.link or chat with me on Instagram or Facebook, Enro Mendoza. And again, if you have any inquiries, please reach out to trcinquiries at ramper.com. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Grabe. Hindi namin kinaya, bro, yung ano. The suit is just yeah. for this event. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Let's give him a big hand, everyone. Yeah, and for those who are with us. Yes, Yay. thank you. We're so honored to hear all of that wisdom and uh, for gracing us with all of those very actionable tips. No, So, uh, we'd like to open now the floor for questions, especially maybe you're wondering how you can really enact yung step-by-step uh, -step on the SMART goals. Okay, we have one here right now. Thank you for your <clears throat> talk, Sir Enro. I am 30 years old and single. I send money to my family back at home, but I have extra income every month. Where do you recommend I start investing? Mm, that's a very good question, uh, Kiana. No? And again, I congratulate you for being part of this conference and thank you for asking that question because um, it can really help also our audience here. No? So you're 30 years old, it means you're young. It means you have a long runway. Usually the rule of thumb is 100 minus your age. So let's say 100 minus your age, 30 years old, 70. 70% 70 should go into aggressive vehicles or assets. So very aggressive meaning that is your stock funds, again being part of the TRC community to be able to uh, invest in stocks themselves so those are aggressive funds because yun nga, we have a long runway and we can deal with the volatility we know naman that our economy is uh, growing uh, even if there are ups and downs we live in a VUCA world but if your uh, goals are more longer term which I assume they are kasi 30 years old uh, we can be aggressive and yung 30 na yun kunyari 70 is aggressive 30 naman can be your more conservative uh, vehicles. So that can be your time deposits, your bond funds, etc. So important lang, uh, Kiana, na of course we also have our emergency fund first, which is around three to six months of your income. And also try to be protected because while we're young, your insurance is actually uh, less expensive um, at this point in our lives. So we need to be able to look at that and design an overall portfolio for you, Kiana. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And I think there's a follow-up question to that from Diane. <laughs> we'll get back to you, Isabel. Ha? Wait lang, kasi ano eh, nakatahe. <laughs> because mukhang 30 years old din si Diane, or around that age maybe. In relation with that, it would also matter if you're planning to retire early? Yes, yeah. Actually, it's a, it's a very good uh, scenario to be in because, again, we go back to step number one of the simple steps to financial success and that's to expand your earning potential diba? we're not saying to stop at one position or one opportunity we can actually do a lot of things and i'm sure if we're yun nga, if we're millennials talagang we're multi-hyphenated diba? you would see our instagram bios where plantita dog lover you know, all of these interests and we can do a lot of things with our um our experience and being digital natives, everything is digital now. There are lots of opportunities to be able to expand our earning potential. And yun, if we're able to do that and actually put in more on those aggressive um, instruments, that maybe you can retire early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, as promised, I am getting to Isabel's question. Do you need to be a TRC member to enroll to Rampver? So technically, we highly recommend that you are part of TRC, but uh, technically you don't need to be a TRC member to be part of 
uh, the Ramper online platform earlier. But of course, we want to encourage you to be part of TRC because yun nga, you can't do this alone. It needs to be a team effort. TRC's value is really being part of a community. The value is in the monthly check-ins, all of the email blasts being part of a circle where we care for each other and we want to achieve our goals together. Yeah, I call the TRC my kulit community. <laughs> it reminds you, have you saved already? Have you? And and when there are prompts, whether it's a cell alert, it it and it excites me. Na parang oh, someday ako rin yung makakapag sell. Yeah. <laughs> Ramain puro bay pa eh. But basically, it it gives you that kulit community. So people who are easily as impulsive like me, <laughs> who are distracted by sales, mga ganyan, we we get distracted not much. Yeah, oh, important <laughs> that we. Have have accountability partners no similar mm -hmm. yan sa fitness no if if you have uh, if you want to work on your body for example importante na you're part of a membership gym para kita mo yung ibang yes. work out you get a trainer you hire a trainer mm -hmm. to push you so that's similar to that as well ganun din sa financial planning and being part of the TRC community okay okay we have another question from Raymar Thank you for your insight, sir. I am 23 years old, just really started with life, and I am an OFW for only eight months. I aspire to have financial freedom. What financial advice can you give to people like me who's starting from the ground up? Thank you very much for that question, Raymar. Again, I congratulate you because you are starting. Yes, You're part of this conference, so that means a lot, and you're trying to up your financial literacy. But maybe my first advice is again i'm big on the mindset kasi you need to be able to put in your mind imprint in your mind that you can make it that you can do it no matter the obstacles no matter the challenges you will be able to achieve your goals and that's very important kasi yun nga life gets tough sometimes we get derailed but just keep on going now if you need to start uh investing a lot of it also has to do with education. So mm -hmm. that's being part of TRC, but also try to get other mentors as well. And mentors, not necessarily living people. Your mentors can be books. <laughs> yeah. Your mentors can Super. be YouTube videos. Your mentors can be articles. So all of these things uh, will really help you in your journey. And yun, uh, the products, the vehicles, just follow that, uh, that path. Mm -hmm. Medyo strategy muna tayo, action plan muna tayo, and then execution follows. Because if you start with execution without the goals and the action plan, <laughs> yun nga eh, if, if you don't have a destination, mm -hmm. any road will lead you there. Yes. Diba? So I'm very, very big on mindset. I'm very, very big on goals. Yes, and that's what TRC, Rampver, and everyone is here for you so that you're always having that, yun nga, what I call the kulit community that will always remind you to invest, to save, because especially for OFWs, probably mas high end yung stores. So yeah, oh, no, <laughs> tempting yun. No? Mas tempting, <laughs> diba? So we really want you to have that uh, focus kept on you it's like uh, atomic habits it's also about focus eh. mm -hmm. and uh, that's what really what we really want to impart to you so that we always encourage you kaya nga sabi ni brother Bowie, there's a bribe <laughs> for you if you join us today because after this when you go out of your room you can get easily distracted <laughs> so quick and okay we have a last question from Marvin I learned a lot today just have a question on how to start I attend events, I watch self-help videos, so I know what to do, but I still struggle to start. How can I overcome this? Okay, Sige. so since medyo a few questions now, so magot ng mindset. This is maybe a brain hack or something mm -hmm. psychological. I came Ooh. across this quote uh, a few years ago and really helped a lot and really changed my perspective. It goes like this, 99% is hard, 100% is easy. So this, what does that mean? So 99%, let's say you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to be healthy, 99%, pag lumabas kayo ng family mo, mm -hmm. and then dessert time na, aalokin ka ng ice cream, 99% mm -hmm. is, ay, kakainin ko ba yung ice cream? Pero may diet ako eh. Pero cheat day ko naman ngayon, Sunday. So kuhunin ko ba yung ice cream? Baka hindi na lang muna. Sige, uh, next time na lang, hindi ko kuhunin yung ice cream. Whereas, 100% is easy means, Inalok yung ice cream sa'yo, mm -hmm. ah, diet ako eh. I'm trying to be healthy. 
So 99% is hard, 100% is easy. It's not just in dieting or physical health, it's also everything in our lives, especially financial as well. If you're trying to start, just start. Make it easier for yourselves. Um, try to have skin in the game. Diba? Earlier, Brother Bo mentioned uh, may mga stock tips sila and may mga recommendations. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to learn actually is to have skin in the game. Pag may nakatayahan ng pera dun, <laughs> syempre, babantayan mo na yun, yes. titingnan mo na everyday, uy, ano na yung report ngayon? Tumaas ba yung earnings? Mm -hmm. Ganito, ganyan. So, you will be forced to actually act on those decisions. So maybe that's my tip for Marvin, no? Yeah. Hopefully that helped, no? That mindset na 99% is hard, 100% is easy. And actually, in fact, ma-share ko lang. One of our employees in the office, nung narinig niya sa akin yung quote na yun, he actually stopped smoking. Wow. Oh, cold turkey. Wow. wow. Kasi before, tinatry niyang gradual. 99% na. na. Oh, 99% <laughs> lang. Ah, social smoker kasi ako. May pag-uusapan sa baba. May <laughs> chismis sa baba. May Kailangan excuse. kasama ako. <laughs> Pero, oo nga, medyo nahirapan siya doon and mm -hmm. there was some inner push and pull. But nung ginawa niya yung 100% is easy, all in. he was able to, yeah, that's right, all in. All in. All in. Yes. Siguro for me, as a beginner, I still consider myself as a beginner investor because it's just one year skin in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so what really helped me was one of the workshops for TRC mm. members. It was a four-night workshop on how to buy your first stock because... Nandito kasi si Sir Edward. Ni Sir Edward, di kasi nung nakita ko po yung COL dashboard, na magayong mata ko. <laughs> it was like all codes. It was intimidating. But with the workshop, you know, with these step-by-step -step tutorials that we have for you, you're able to really start one step at a time. Kung baga nabibreak down yung steps yeah. easily for everybody who's here, who's, who wants to start but don't know what to click. Is it Right to click this because it's money at stake, so it's yeah. so scary. <laughs> but we're here for you, don't worry about that. That's what helped me to begin. It was losing that intimidation with all of these numbers and codes. But yeah, it, it was very helpful to have a tutorial ready and live workshops that are interactive for us, like this. Ganito lang din siya. Anytime you can access it as well. So those are what we have for you. And I uh, would like to once again thank you so much, bro and Ro. Yeah, Yay! thank you. Thanks, everyone. Good Hopefully, love. you learned something today. Oh, we learned a lot, <laughs> definitely. Let's thank you again, everyone. Thank you. Oh.